Hello there, and welcome back to another installment of SCP Readings, with your reader here, Jim Hodon. Today we're looking at SCP-368. There's a link down in the description for you to follow along as I read out loud. SCP-368 is an animate origami crane folded from ornate, heavy stock paper. Left to its own devices, it will perch, preen, fly from platform to platform, groom, and occasionally construct a makeshift nest out of nearby office supplies. It responds to human touch affectionately, much as a domesticated bird would. The item's demeanor is, on the whole, friendly, and it has been observed to perch on the shoulders of various SCP personnel. Though the item needs no source of nourishment, it appears to sleep at night in that it places its head under its wing. Studying the physical properties of SCP-368 has proven difficult. The item seems to interpret attempts to capture or contain it as a game and has displayed considerable agility and resourcefulness in evading even the most focused attempts at containment. How SCP-368 stays airborne and maintains its stability while airborne are still not known. History SCP-368 was discovered in an office building in Blank, Japan sometime in the 1900s. Blank Blank, now employed as 14-1158, a former employee at the aforementioned building, found the item in a closet full of office supplies. Upon discovery of SCP-368, 14-1158 managed to gain its trust in order to move it to a more secure location. Psychological evaluations of 14-1158 indicated her to be of sufficient mental stability and acuity to warrant a position within the SCP organization. Cross SCP warnings. It is recommended that SCP-368 be isolated from SCP-592 and SCP-530, as contact will almost certainly alarm all three SCPs. Addendum 0-22 On an unknown date in the 2000s, while housed in Research Sector 15, SCP-368 began displaying unusual behavior. Instead of its normal routine of human interaction, grooming, and play, it began hovering over a photocopier, serial number unknown flattening itself whenever SCP personnel approached. Dr. Blank, 19-1425, placed SCP-368 into the photocopier and made a copy, upon which another sheet of paper of identical pattern but different hue emerged from the copier and promptly folded itself into a shape mimicking that of the original. SCP-368 and the new specimen, referred to as SCP-368-A, resumed usual behavior. Since then, SCP-368 has displayed similar behavior at intervals varying between two and four years, while the copies have shown no such behavior. Though initially Overseer O-Blank disallowed any employee from aiding in the reproduction of SCP-368 and Dr. Blank Blank was reprimanded for his action, remarkably high employee morale at Research Sector 15 led to the introduction of the progeny of SCP-368 at further SCP facilities. To me, this SCP is absolutely adorable. I adore origami. I really, really got into origami whenever I was super obsessed with the game Heavy Rain, and I, I adore that game, and it got me into origami like never before, and I was making origami like crazy. And the crane was always one of my favorite traditional origami figures. It's so pretty and neat, and I would love to see this thing in action, see it alive, see it being like a actual bird. It's just, it's so cute. And the fact that it wants to make more of itself is even more adorable. Just a simple, cute, and harmless SCP. Something we need every once in a while. So that has been SCP-368. Thank you for joining me on this reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.